Hi everyone, welcome back to another video where we analyze the couples on Love is Blind season 4. And this time we're going to take a look at Kwame and Chelsea and try to understand what's going on there. So first the disclaimer, I've seen the finale and the reunion episode, so spoiler alert. And I understand that it's an edited TV show, so I'm only analyzing these people based on what's been shown. I don't claim to know them fully. So I was a bit nervous in the process of making this video because I'm once again going to discuss the issue of race. And I've really made an effort to give Kwame the benefit of the doubt. However, here's what I'm certain of about Kwame. Firstly, that he's experienced a lot of rejection because of his race. I couldn't pick up my girlfriend to go to prom because I'm black. Secondly, that he's experienced a lot of repression from his own family, his culture, his religion. My parents used to have a lot of control over my, my dating life, like a, an astonishing amount. Partnering Christianity with like a very, very deep West African focus, it made for a lot of strict upbringing, to put it simply. And that his coping mechanism is to be impressive in the sense of achievement and competence. So I always feel this need to impress. I like have to immediately bring up, hey, like I'm really successful and I have my master's degree. Another coping mechanism is that he's learned to compromise. I don't mind transitioning into that lifestyle, but like I feel as though I'm somebody who tends to compromise a lot, right? Ooh, okay. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying not to do here. So then here's what I speculate. Chelsea was not just the second choice after Micah. I feel that she is what I would call a consolation prize. If I was to write down the perfect girl for me before I even showed up to this experiment, it would be you. So not all second choices are consolation prizes. A consolation prize means it's better than nothing. You've chosen them out of desperation. Desperate to not be alone, desperate to make yourself feel better. You're not really choosing them for them. And it seems that Kwame went for Chelsea mainly for her validation of him. The one thing that just keeps popping up about her. Is it that she validates you more than I do? And reciprocates feelings more vocally? Yes. Point blank period. And for her obsession with him. Chelsea? Chelsea! Wow. I know! Like, bro, I, I, I've never met this girl. I've never had somebody so fucking into me. It is wild. A good contrast would be Bliss and Zach. Bliss might be the second choice chronologically, but she is definitely not a consolation prize. Zach fully loves her for being her, and you can see how happy he is with her. Whereas the common consensus with Kwame is that he looks miserable. And, 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 and want you to see like the joy. Like we haven't even had like the best moments and days of our lives together. Listen, when we get up to that altar, it comes down to it comes down to the decision that will make us both happiest. So I just want to make sure that we're both happy going into it. Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be happy? Don't do that. Stop that. In fact, he seems so miserable that his marriage has been joked in social media memes as being a hostage situation. You are my husband. Yes. I am. Your wife. No. <laughs> My wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah, you know. Husband, what it is. wife. Yeah, that. And in a way, he is a hostage, but a very willing one because he's learned to cope with his situation by falling in love with his captor. The captor being colonialism and white supremacy, basically, Stockholm syndrome. So how did I make that jump? It's definitely not just because he's black, she's white, so that's the easiest conclusion. I said before that Chelsea is a consolation prize. And as the show went on, we just watched Kwame having to compromise himself more and more and give into Chelsea's agenda. Like, do you want to settle down? 
Yeah. Why wouldn't I? If you're not infatuated with someone, madly in love, which I think a majority of the audience has felt he's not, then why else would you make such sacrifices? And now I pick up more responsibilities, moving to a new city, making new friends, being in a new place. When it comes to a marriage, we're merging two lives. But in this sense of mer um, like merging, I am taking... You're the one that's having I'm, to make yeah, the sacrifices. I'm, ta I'm, I'm taking every sacrifice. She's not making a single one. I had to go elsewhere to go looking for other reasons why he might be so willing to compromise when he's so obviously not happy. Seattle, you're overpriced. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are like, you are Lamar Odom with Michael Jordan prices. You're not that great. But, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to get over that. So just to make sure you are married, you are saying yes, right? <laughs> and I'm afraid that I can only conclude that it stems from his race and him being rejected for it. I actually was going to use the name Alex instead. Because really? I just feel like, yeah, I feel like Kwame just like puts me in this very specific area. It also stems from his attempt at trying to escape his family, their strict religion and their culture that has repressed him for so long. She said that as a mother, as someone who, you know, would expect more from me, um, I didn't do the right thing. She doesn't think that I used my head in this situation um, and that um, she can't really say that she's happy for me. If you're internally starting from such a low place, then of course you'll compromise because you don't think that there's anything better out there for you. It's like he's thinking, I need to be with a successful white woman to balance out all the rejection and pain that I've suffered. She's very smart, she's very driven, she loves what she does. Chelsea, like sometimes I'm just in awe of who she is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, that's, that's, that's my lady. I need a white family to adopt me, to escape my own family, my own culture that has repressed me. I hope you, you like a lot of family time, because <laughs> yeah. we have a lot of it. Sunday night dinners, you know, yeah. we all get together for dinner. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, that, that's cool. I mean, I, I've never really had that. I don't, so me and my family never really even uh, ate dinner at the same table. And it wasn't, I don't think there was anything bad about it. It yeah. was just like how we lived. Right. You know, right, so right. I haven't really had a, a family where we ate dinner. Well, at good. The same now, table. You, <laughs> now you get to. Happy to have yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Chelsea is a very rare find, therefore, because she fulfills both these things and she's obsessed with me. And look, I've been an immigrant child. I've grown up being a minority race. So I do have a lot of compassion and understanding that that experience, that upbringing can have an impact on how you see yourself and therefore impact your choices. And before anyone draws any comparisons, I want to state that Kwame is not Shake not Shake from season two. The root of the problem might be the same, but Shake dumps on everyone else, whereas Kwame does not. He actually compromises himself. And I also understand why watching people like Kwame is triggering for so many, because his self-rejection reminds us of our own trauma. If we then look at their cognitive functions, there are more reasons for their attraction aside from race. So they are the so-called aspirations of each other, meaning that they have the exact same functions, but in reverse order. Our lower functions should be called our subconscious functions. They are termed lower in the sense that they're closer to our unconscious, to our core. And these are functions that are important to us, that we aspire to be good at. And so we tend to look up to other people that have these functions as their dominant because these people embody these functions with ease at a conscious level. Kwame's attraction towards Chelsea is mainly due to TE, extroverted thinking. So TE is a function that concludes and categorizes, and therefore it's related to priorities and rankings. TE wants to be respected in society for their achievement and competence. This is what Kwame aspires to and what Chelsea does effortlessly. 
The fourth function in our stack is called the inferior function. And we have a tricky relationship with this function because it's very important to us, yet we also feel reluctant to use it because it takes a lot of energy out of us. And TE is also about standards and boundaries. And in Kwame's case, it means that he is going to be reluctant to express his own needs and his boundaries versus Chelsea, who would be very confident in doing this. Hence why he is always the one compromising. I really love Portland. I really do. I know I'm, I'm like, I'm okay to move, you know, but I, don't, I feel like <clears throat> this is home. It's, it's a very cool place, babe. Yeah. I like it a lot. Does it make you think, oh, you have... I might move to Portland? No, it doesn't. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I definitely think he's gonna, we're gonna settle in Seattle, regardless of all the factors. In addition to this, Chelsea also guilt trips him emotionally into commitment, meaning there's no space for Kwame to express his very valid feelings and concerns over their marriage. Truly, like deeply, do you think you're ready? There are some things that come up in my mind that make me have to take a, an extra second to think. It would be the biggest letdown of the century to put what we've built to waste and throw it away. Chelsea is TE dominant, so her tendency is to be outcome driven and to prioritize her goals over feelings. Her goal here is marriage by the end of the show. So she's not going to be sympathetic towards Kwame's feelings and hesitations because in her mind, they are not important enough to jeopardize her goal. She's also very capable of suppressing her own hurt feelings over being second choice in order to achieve the goal of being married ASAP. And this is because her FI, introverted feeling, is in the last position. The danger with coupling with your aspiration is that you run the risk of suppressing each other's dominant functions because of your own insecurities. You end up suppressing the qualities of that person that you fell in love with in the first place. In this case, Chelsea is actually suppressing Kwame's FI, introverted feeling, his emotions, his ability to express them, and to be himself, which is actually what she fell in love with in the first place. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you found it helpful and interesting. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. And if you wanted us to analyze your personality type, your functions, and how they relate to your decisions, career, and relationships, then please find booking details in the description box below.